just gonna help some of the weak ones. Morning internet, it is quarter past nine in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in a small fishing village here on the Mexican coast, Pacific side. The sun is super bright and it's already uh, getting very hot. So I've changed my plan a little bit because I had to wait quite long for breakfast. So now the morning is kind of getting away from me, it's getting hot. So I just really want to hit the road. So instead of walking around town, I'll just see if I can ride a little bit towards the beach. Let me get the map out though and tell you or show you where I am and what the plan is for today. Okay, so this is where I am right now. So in the last video I came from San Cristobal and I rode all the way here. And today I'm going to go past Puerto Escondido a little bit. So I want to stay, I think somewhere in this area today. So I'm just gonna follow the coastal road over here. And I think the total is about 290 kilometers. Adios. <laughs> okay, let's uh, ride a little bit towards the beach, if I can even. Ah, what a beautiful place, right? The mountains there are so high on that side of the coast. And yeah, this is just completely undeveloped beach side, which is just lovely. No big hotels or bars or nothing just uh, oh, it's getting sandy just some fishing boats I see I think the fishermen have just come back see behind here is also quite high mountains about eight kilometers from Mazunte right now and it's almost one o'clock so my plan is to go have a lunch there somewhere and then continue look at this Pretty stunning beach, right? And now this place, Mazunte, well, it has a beautiful beach. And somehow it became a very popular hangout for hippies. But this place has a very, very dark history. 
because in the 1970s they built a turtle slaughterhouse here. Around that time this became kind of the center of the turtle trade in meat and eggs. Uh, the eggs were considered an uh, aphrodisiac. So legally 30,000 turtles could be killed per year. But it is believed that including the illegal take it was almost twice that number. And that one went on for 30 years and it led to a global decline in the turtle populations. So the slaughterhouse doesn't exist anymore and apparently all that remains is a cement floor. I'm not exactly sure where it is. And instead of the slaughterhouse there is now a turtle protection center in Mazunte as well. I'm not going to, going to visit that one because my planned destination for today, which is about 100 kilometers up the coast from here, there are, is also a turtle uh, center, I guess I could say. Uh, and that's the one I'm going to visit or I hope to visit uh, this afternoon. Apparently there's still illegal activities going on, so there are still people stealing turtle eggs or killing turtles uh, for their meat or for the leather or whatever product. But obviously compared to everything that happened down here in the past, um, it's going a lot better. All right, let's keep going because uh, I still have uh, yeah, over 100 kilometers to go. So I'm not there yet. found a place to stay so that's good so now I'm just going on a small ride because not far from here is this place where there is a team of people doing some pretty amazing work in protecting the turtles around here so I'm gonna see if they're there and if I can uh, talk to them maybe Here probably no. Oh. Hola. <laughs> Aquí es el lugar de tortugas. No. Adelante. Okay, gracias. it already somehow maybe they're on the other side of the track so it is now uh, nine o'clock at night I am walking on the beach here as you can probably hear from the waves turns out it's actually really sad. There used to be a, a turtle protection operation going on here where they would patrol the beaches at night and 
you know, they would collect the eggs once they were laid so they could keep them safe until they hatched and then they would release the baby turtles at a safe time in the ocean as well. But everything changed after COVID because, well, everything was shut down here. So there was no, no more people coming here anymore. And this operation survived kind of on, on ecotourism, on people visiting. And it completely stopped. And there is no government funding for this operation. So there's actually, there's nobody there even to talk to, nothing. Yeah, there is still um, turtle rescue going on kind of in the next town, not too far from here, but in this beach, there's now nothing. So I'm just going to, I don't know, take the night shift or at least walk this part of the beach and uh, see if we see any turtles. I do feel for the poor turtles because we well, probably can't see that, but here there is a quite a big slope. So when they come from the ocean, they have to climb this, this dune almost before they can uh, really reach the beach. So that must be pretty tough for them. So I've been walking for uh, a kilometer, more than a kilometer, I think. Now, um, no turtles yet. It's possible that they come out a little bit later. In any case, it's not top turtle season. So there are a few different species of turtle that come and lay eggs here. And I think that the best or I think the main season is from August, I think. Um, but there is one species that lays eggs year round. So they could come here every night. But then of course, this beach is massive. <laughs> and you just need to be there at the right time. So it's possible that they only come out like, I don't know, three in the morning. But um, to walk this beach the entire night by myself, May not be the best idea ever. You can see the moon by the way. <laughs> There's a little bit of moon. The stars are just incredible. You can't see that on my measly GoPro. <laughs> but it is magnificent. I am almost back uh, to the place where I'm staying. I didn't see any turtles. I didn't see any people trying to steal turtle eggs. Always clear. Itchy boots turtle patrol. Signing off. I'm now following uh, <laughs> the guys from the guest house where I stayed last night. Um, they're going to lead the way to hopefully a small boat again. <laughs> it has been a while since I put Alaska on a boat. So anyway, because um, what I talked about the turtle operation over here has unfortunately stopped because no funding no project but uh, in another community which lies on the other side of the lagoon here they still have an active project so I'm gonna see if I can have a look over there and uh, maybe stay the night on that side um, there is also a road going there but you have to ride all the way around so it's uh, I think an hour to get there from here whereas it's really not that far so it's actually much faster to just take a little boat so uh, I'm gonna see if we can find a boat and uh, get there <laughs> let's check out this boat oh it's pequeño la lancha no? ¿Cuál lancha? Okay, voy a, voy a ver. Buenos días. Es su lancha. Solo voy a ver si se puede hacer. Oh, yeah. Ayer pasó la comesa. Una llanta de arriba? No, no. No, tres motos pasamos ya entonces. Tres motos. Pero son motos pequeños. Como esta pasamos una pesa mucho, por igual que no puedo yo solo, fue muy varios para bajarla y subirla. Creo que voy a tomar el camino. Ah, tomar el camino. Es una hora, ¿no? Solo es que cada vez cuando pongo mi moto en una lancha algo quebra, está quebrado. 
Bueno, pero gracias, gracias dale, por todo. Dale, cuídate. Que le vaya bien. Adiós. Can you believe it? I actually turned down a boat. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at a little boat and I'm thinking, not again, you know. Every time I put uh, a lost on boats like that, something breaks. And uh, I don't know, it's not open ocean, of course, but there were quite some waves because of the wind. So I don't uh, know how choppy it gets. Yeah, I can ride there, you know, it's, it's an hour. It's an hour ride to get there, so I'll just do that and uh, keep Alaska in one piece. Oh, even here there are these hidden speed bumps you have to be careful about. It's a lovely, lovely road to Chakawa. That's actually the place that I'm going now. Tiny, tiny town again on the coast. I have arrived in Chakawa. thing is I do not know where this turtle project is Una consulta estoy buscando el proyecto de tortugas de tortugas eh, no le dijeron si es eh, específicamente trae algún nombre No no so el, el centro donde Debe ser del lado de la isla porque aquí no va. Es en la isla. ¿En la isla? Sí, tienes que dejar tu moto aquí en algún estacionamiento y ya de ahí eh, tomar una lancha. Ah, ok. Y ya de ahí te llevan cualquier lanchero o persona te puede llevar Ay, allá. Ahora donde vas. Hay, hay un hospedaje en este lado. De este lado, sí, el bambú. Aquí bajando. El bambú. Visita. Ok, gracias. Ah, okay, yeah, so, well, I knew this. Um, it's actually the, the little boat that I could take from the other side that wouldn't actually, wouldn't have come here, but would have come to the other side of a little island. And then I'd have to take another lancha to get here. So there's kind of two bodies of water. And it turns out the turtle place is right in the middle. Take me to the other side, and then there I am going to search for the turtle center. If the boat's going to start, <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Okay, gracias. I'm back here on the beach side, so the turtle place should be somewhere around here. Well, I think I found the place. I think this is where they rebury the nests until the eggs hatch. Let's see if I can find someone who works here or knows anything. Uh, there. I'm now here with Jiman Jimena, yes. Jimena, <laughs> and Mariano. Mariano. Look at the babies. Oh. So they, they hatched today? They hatched this morning, but this these morning. Ones, they just hatch. <gasps> just now, they now? They just emerge from the sand. Oh wow, look at that. So how many turtles are normally in one For instance, nest? this nest has 110 eggs. Oh. And this is the first batch that already emerged. There's three species in, in the Chacawa. We have olive rilde, that is this one. 
or we call it tortuga golfina. Uh -huh. Then we have the green turtle or the black turtle as we call it in the Pacific. That's the vegetarian turtle, a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. And then we have leatherbacks. This is a sanctuary for leatherbacks. Okay. So that's why this beach is very important as a nesting ground for, for So leatherbacks. these are? These are olive ridley, golfina, the smallest ah, okay. turtle in the world. The smallest turtle the smallest, in the world? The smallest, the most stable in their populations. You find the nests while the turtles are laying them and then you yeah. relocate them, or how does yeah, it work? Yeah, so we patrol the beach every single night from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. most of the times. Wow. There's 13 kilometers of a nesting ground in Chacawa. So we patrol every night. Sometimes we find a turtle at the moment, or sometimes by, by, the, by the prints, by the tracks, we can yeah. identify where the nest is. So we take the eggs, we bring them to this enclosure, this hatchery, we call it corral. This is the nursery for the, for the babies. And then after 45 days or 60 days, depending on the species, we have the babies that we're releasing to the, to the water like wow. we're gonna do with these ones. So then all of this, there you're waiting for those yeah, to... Yeah, all of these are our new nests. Yeah. So by day 40, we, we start putting these fences. Yeah. So when they emerge, we can you grab them, them from here and then take them. Sometimes we release them right here, but most of the time we go as well a little bit further away so we can yeah. release in different spots, you know? Right, yeah. Uh, when they are adults, they'll come back to the place where yeah, they hatched. To the, to or the not? same beach they were or born or the same area. Oh, the same, same area. You know? ah, okay, okay. Uh, they have crystals of magnetite in their brain. So oh, there's really? like their own GPS. They know how to print the magnetic field of the earth. Yeah. So when they migrate, it's the, the, the compass they use in order to Wow. to go through their journey. Amazing. And then, so, but you patrol on that uh, yeah, quad? We, yeah, we patrol on the quad, all this beach, every night. That's when the, the mamas come to lay their eggs at yeah. night. Yeah, so yeah. every night there's turtles coming. And yeah, right now it's the end of the season. There's yeah. a little bit less. You know, yeah. The big peak is November, December. Oh, November, December. But nowadays we still have a few. So, but how, how many people do you have in the team? Because, I mean... Yeah, there's six people, like local people from the community of Chacawa uh -huh. that have been working with us and there we're two biologists, myself and uh -huh. a colleague that is named Areli. Uh -huh. She's one she's the one that started actually the whole project like yeah. ten years ago. Uh -huh. And then I joined her for the last six years in Chacawa in order to keep the, the turtle camp running. Yeah. Because there's been many issues with the government, with the, the whole permit to do the job in here. Yeah. So it's been complicated but at least we have it still yeah you know, but, but who owns like the, the beach then the land because it's national park right yeah it's a national park actually it does not belong to anybody it's yeah. just part of the of the park but everything is being sold out you know right. all the land is being sold it's gonna get a little bit complicated but yeah. we're trying to to do our part and then see how we can balance the, the situation yeah how do you grab them you just yeah. scoop them up yeah, or like how does this. it work one. But they have their eyes, or oh, their eyes are open. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready to go. Oh. They're active. When they emerge, okay. they're active in order to okay. move faster. Oh, I think water. it peed on me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little water. Two. Oh, wow. Oh, they're squeaky. Two. Three. Look at them. They're flapping. Four. Oh no, did I lose count? Four. Maybe I count again. You want? You need to know the total in the in the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Twenty. Oh, this one is on its back. Oh, oh, you're okay. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh, it's so many. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> Seven, fifty-nine. But there could still be coming yeah, out yeah, yeah. just now, right? Yeah, yeah. So for these ones, we give them in one day, and then afterwards we dig up the whole. We open the nest. Ah. We dig everything out to count the shells, to do the math on how many lives, how many death. And in the process, we can find some baby turtles that are still on their way, or they are the weak ones that cannot make it with the whole clutch on their own. Because how deep do the mums bury them usually? 30, 40 centimeters for the olive ah. ridley, 60, 70 for the greens, and around a meter 
for the leather bags. Leather bags oh, go wow. deep because leather bags are the They're size big. of the quad. The leather bag is two huge. meter total. So the, those babies are also a lot bigger when they come out. Yeah, so. a big okay. Oh, really? Double. Already like yeah, hand size? size yeah. Wow. The whole process as they come out, crawl out of the water, start finding their spot, then start scattering sand, make a hole, then do the like construct the chamber. It takes around one hour and a half, like the whole process to lay the uh -huh. eggs, cover, and go away. So, but sometimes you wait all that time yeah, until yeah. they're done, and yeah, sometimes we wow. wait, sometimes we just continue and then head back, or depends on on the situation. Yeah, and then you sleep during the day, and then in the night you go again. Yeah, night is a the big moment. <laughs> Prime time. And at night, there's when the most of the babies hatch. Right. Most of the night, in a natural situation, they emerge at night. Yeah, exactly. So at night, we have to be also aware aware of this area because there's so many dogs uh, uh, yeah. that buy the fans and go yeah. inside. They try to they smell the babies. Are so there still also people trying to take yeah, eggs? Yeah, there's poaching. Poaching. Still. Yeah. It's a coastal community. It's part of the game. Yeah. Um, if they find the turtle, it's theirs. If yeah. I find it, it's mine. But yeah, there's yeah. still around three or four people every night that they walk the beach in order to, to get the... Make thing. sure that, yeah. They sell the eggs. And there are seven species in the world. And six of them come to Mexican waters or Mexican... To lay the to eggs. To their, lay their eggs. Mexico <gasps> is really important. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. that. And Oaxaca, of course, is the best in Mexico. Of for course. sea turtles. Yeah. Oaxaca is very powerful. Yeah. We have lots of big sites for, for nesting, for arribadas. For leather bags, of course, leather bags. The leather bags that we release here, yeah. they migrate down to South America, Peru, <gasps> Chile. They grow in there, they feed in there, and when they reach reproductive stage... They come all the way back here? Yeah, they do the, their whole migration to the Mexican Pacific. And does it... it That's it, incredible. Yeah, I didn't realize that this site was... I mean, I understood that you know, because of the, the killing of turtles in the 70s, 80s, yeah, yeah. that it led All to decline, a worldwide yeah, decline. decline. But I actually yeah. didn't realize that was for this for this reason. Wow. Yeah, there's many reasons, but yeah, mainly that thing in Masunte, the big factory. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. And the harvest before it was maybe a hundred percent. You know, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I read something that they killed 500 turtles per day. Yeah. Or even more. Or more. Yeah. Yeah. Plus the one, the eggs that they were, that were collected on the beach. So it was a big, big decline. But still, it, it's going on. There's many threats. Yeah. Poaching. It's still uh, a fight. Touristic development on the, of, on the nesting grounds, plastic, yeah. fishing, yeah. industrial fishing. The With the big crawlers, yeah. Debris, you know, lots of debris, like fishing debris. Yeah. Fishing, fishing gear everywhere. So we want to help their populations in order to establish it's gonna it's gonna be like this it has to be like this we yeah. have to be here in order to make it else yeah. they will not they won't come out on their own yeah there's dogs there's many threats yeah. all over the place so yeah. that's why we have to bring them here protect them and release as many healthy turtles as we can so yeah. they can be new recruits for the wildlife population come on you can do it oh there's another one mm -hmm. See? Oh. yeah they can really come together, together. How many out of, say, one nest of 100 eggs will make it to adulthood? One in 1,000 only. In natural... One in 1,000 yes. will make it? Yeah. That's like the normal... Those are terrible odds. So that's not considering fishing, of yeah. course, or, I don't know, like getting caught in plastic or something. Right now. Yeah. Those are terrible odds. Yeah, sadly for uh, the sea turtles uh, reach sexual maturity at a very late age, you know, 20 years from this stage. So to they need years. to survive 20 years before they can reproduce. Yes. In this time. To reach that stage of 20 years, yeah. many threats on their So on much their can happen on the way. On journey. So that's the thing. But also one mama can lay a thousand eggs per, per season, season, let's say. One olive really can come tonight, yeah. head back. Yeah. Yeah, but still, clutch. if she lays a thousand eggs per Just season, one. only one but might that's, make that's, it. That's what, that's their their way of doing it. You yeah, know? lay shit many eggs, <laughs> and then one will make it. You yeah, know? they don't lay three eggs per nest. You know, yeah. they lay hundred eggs, so they can lay yeah. around ten times, ten clutches per season, and then so yeah. then 
1000x average yeah but at least they make sure one of the babies will make it to adult yeah life. yeah and then but and then these ones when they are adults what how how old can they get 80 or something 70 to 100 years 70 to yeah. 100 yeah. 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 So we're going to release the turtles, the babies, in a little while, but we have to wait until it gets a little bit darker because right now there is just birds everywhere. So yeah, if we would release them now, they're all going to be eaten. <laughs> so just going to wait maybe half an hour more. These nests hatch in the morning, so sometimes... And there's still some babies some there. Babies, you know? Oh yeah. Unbelievable. But how they can... Oh, this is maybe a stupid question, but how can they breathe so deep in the sand? They can make it through the, the sand is very through porous. Through the porous, yeah. yeah. Always a few babies that oh. remain. Wow. Unbelievable. Mm, tiny baby. <laughs> weak. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the leftovers are kind of the weak the ones. The weak ones. Like, like any natural. But it's still good to release them because at least yeah, they get maybe eaten first. Exactly. And then the sometimes they, they can be the slower ones that they exactly. can eat it and the other. The that's strong why ones will make it. all together in order to, yeah. to avoid or make it through the, through the field. Exactly, yeah. So what's the size then of these eggs? Like ping pong ball. A ping pong ball. Yeah. Ah. The leather back is around a baseball ball. Wow. And the green like a tennis ball. Okay. But all of them are endangered, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them in a more critical stage or like olive this. They're they're in danger, but not as critically as leatherbacks for Right. Us, you know? Yeah. It's more in a vulnerable situation. Right, yeah. But still has to be protected and it's on the red list of endangered species worldwide. So Okay, it's time to go and release uh, the babies. So what they do is they'll go with the the quad so they can go a little bit further down the beach and release them in a quiet spot. Oh. Yeah, this thing sounds very, very looks very plastic. <laughs> oh my god! Part of the problem. <laughs> we need a new quad. We need a new quad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We hold the babies. Help some of the weak ones. Go! The 
that was it. They're all out there in the ocean. And now we have to hope that many of them will make it. some uh, fresh turtle tracks see it's so clear look at it coming like that and then well this is the quad see and then here but then I don't understand these trails those are attempts ah brought up try to try, try to, to dig to, try to dig there those are the sun is very loose now ah. so it's, it's getting complicated and I think here she even tried to make a new chamber but didn't make it so went back uh, without laying. What an amazing, amazing experience uh, to see these little turtles and they're doing an amazing job here. I cannot believe it. I mean, they're volunteers. They're not even getting paid for this and there is no government funding, nothing. And actually they're also really struggling to keep going because I mean, the quad is expensive, fuel is expensive, and they're not getting any funds. So anyway, um, I'm going to make a, a good donation for them um, because I asked them, like, how can I help? How can we help? And um, so they're, they're setting up like some social media, but there is also a PayPal account uh, where I'm going to donate. Um, if you want to help out as well, you can. I will put the link in the description of this video and put the links there if you want to know more about uh, the work that they're doing here because yeah it is really necessary and there's actually they told me that there are five beaches in this area and this is all part of a national park but the Mexican government kind of stopped putting any money to these parks so that's why they are struggling and land is being taken and that sort of thing it's just not protected anymore and now this is the only place where they are still having a turtle operation going but they want to be able to do something like this on all of these beaches because it is necessary to save these turtles so yeah anyway if you want to help out please check out the link uh, in the description um, I think it's just amazing work so I'm gonna end this video now that was it for today I really hope you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video